It's raining cats and dogs. And these guys are going to be fighting like dogs going into turn one. Five red lights for the Dutch Grand Prix. They go out and the drivers are off. And it looks like it's been a flying start for Freeway 5. Breezy just did not get off the line well as Hatchet, Tuna Time, and he's going to lose that ultimately to Tuna Time, who's already gained a spot. And now Breezy's also coming under pressure for Kuridamo again, going through turn three. Or that's tier two, my bad. As the Alfa Romeo of Enviable Scarf sends a move on Kuridamo. That was shocking out of nowhere. Not straight, definitely not straight, but getting the move done by what I believe is turn five. I don't quite know the, the, the turn numbers at this track, I'm sorry. But we're going to get used to it as the race continues. Freeway 5 holds the lead from Hatchet, Breezy, Edwin Scarf, and Curry Damo. J-Boy, who put it on pole, well, at least in qualifying, has lost the spot and is down to P7. But we know that Red Bull is going to have pace. And we know the Red Bull is going to have to use that pace. Meanwhile, remember, Breezy, and Edwin Scarf, 3, 4, and 5 are the championship protagonists right now. At the moment, two at a time would not become champion, but it would be pretty much guaranteed. Oh, that's a little <laughs> bit of tank slapper. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, not, that's not that good. You don't really want to be doing that all that much. Finish. Also, you know, 12 points ahead or whatever. Tuna Time just needs to finish like 8 points ahead. But we move regardless. We'll figure it out doing the live math. There's an overtake As... right there. Yeah, that was Curry <laughs> Dumbo getting bashed. Uh, Enviable Scarf. Enviable obviously made a very optimistic move on the first lap. At this point. Breezy needs to find a way around Tuna Time. J-Boy! What happened, J-Boy? There's J-Boy! Oh, the Red Bull is around. It looked like he was oh. going to make an overtake there. Just at the last minute, I was going to get those pitches up. Let's put J-Boy back a little bit. Remember, J-Boy would have been the one not qualifying on pole, but got that penalty. The unlucky weekend for the Red Bull driver goes from unlucky to very unlucky as we see Expuls getting very close to hitting. Inside it's a turn one. Tuna leaves the space. Breezy puts his car in the space, but gets a pit two on the curb, so can't get the traction. Going up towards turns two and three, and it's going to be Tuna time holding on to P3. But Breezy is a lot of Dutch yet. cast. That's, ooh, that's really close. Oh. You gotta hit, you've got to just basically get your Sharpie out and sign your name as you get close to the wall of champions, essentially, here on the Dutch coast. Hatchet autographing the wall with some tire yeah. marks. It could be, well, I mean, Gladiators were in Italy as well. Yeah, I know, but. Centurions are the next step up, aren't they? Whoa! Let's step oh, up for the moment. Enviable is this? Scarf sending a move on Brian Burns, getting ahead of the Alpha Tauri, saying, I'm not done with this champion. I'm pretty sure Enviable Scarf actually would oh. drop out of title contention. As in the wall goes the Alpha Romeo. Title contention. Hopes going up in smoke for the Alpha Romeo driver. Dropping down the grid. Ninth place now. And that is catastrophic if Enviable Scarf because you end up spinning over the line and crashing out and DNFing. It looks like the track's getting a little bit quicker as well, too, as it's as it starting to form a little bit of a dry line, because you can see those fastest laps being exchanged two for now, like Christmas cards for Santa Claus. Well, that's, I mean, that's not even necessarily, I mean, it's just... Ah, you don't want to do J-Boy, that was close. But, I mean, that just happens, though, in these wet races, as we see Expulse actually going for a move on Doctor Who, the Ferrari flying around the outside of that Williams. Very good move by Expulse there. But, yeah, we see that in these... Uh, not really. Still at uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I think he does. You got it. Yeah, I but also keep uh, Expulse at the moment because, oh, there it is. Uh, oh, we are really picking on him here today, aren't we? Biggles, how have you done that? I've never seen. The... That was the. Room that, X that... amount of time oh, at boy. night. When you got J Boy at the moment is trying to get past the Neville Scarf. Now, Freeway 5 is going even faster up the road, but Hatch is still keeping him within the claws. Yeah. Tune and... time falling a little bit back now, so it's more of a two horse race at the front. Ex 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 expulse. Uh, going oh my! On the outside of okay, uh, I okay. the doctor. I think doctor, Who, I think doctor Who let Expulse go there for a second, but that was. Yeah, if you didn't, that doctor was a very Who's, good move. Doctor Who's been racing a couple of seasons. I remember actually racing as a teammate there with Doctor Who uh, when it was Division really? 4. You got to pit for Inters at some point. Do you do the sneaky? Well, here we go. Right Freeway here. 5 and goes in. in. Yes, you yes, do. He does. No, he's tricked him. Oh, you don't. He's ah, tricked him. But Tuna Time went in. Tuna Time Tuna went time. in. He's going for it. And Brian. Now, I I, don't, I love the dummies they do, isn't it? They're throwing, basically, they're bluffing everybody else. Not a bad well, strategy, the, is it? But then again, will these tires be good enough to go up the I end? Mean, in, in, in real life, yeah, that was Haas in the office right now as they're 6th and 7th right now, but uh, Tuna Time might potentially be in the net lead of the race by the time it all cycles through. We'll just have to wait and see if any more safety cars come up. Right now it is the Alphatari of Brian Burns. But Brian Burns counteracts that with a little bit of oversteer, but it doesn't even matter. Brian Burns to the inside of Eric Drogers and just gets so much overspeed. My God, that was... Well, that was something. Impressive, I guess. Could it might be making a run on the Doctor again, or is it inevitable Scarf, actually, believe it or not. 
It's Enviable Scarf <laughs> defending from J-Boy. Enviable just grasping at straws, trying to keep the championship hopes alive. But the Red Bull, who, this track again... Right now I can put more fastest laps in. But how does this pan out? You're doing all the math and calculating and crunching the numbers because Breezy's now in P3. It's in a time about to be P5. Oh, my! The Strimmer nearly dying into the wall there, but getting by. Probably and the best of friends. I mean, that happens track? in Hockey Biggles. Yeah. That happens in Hockey Biggles. Your body, your guy, now, you're putting a little bit of pressure there. He's trying oh, to push it in. But look at that. Eight seconds of change down the road there from Kuridama because it looked like somebody else said Fastest oh, guy. Fastest man on track. By is, my, is my command. Because we know a pit stop is Hatch roughly... Hatchet now. Well. Hatchet's putting pressure on. Big time at 305. It's taking about, about what? 18 laps of change? Yeah. Free, <laughs> freeway 5. Finally over, uh, coming under significant oh, Hatchet. pressure. Make it stop. Make it stop, he's saying. They didn't get a penalty. Is is Hatchet going to jump freeway five in the pits? The Alfa Romeo goes into the box, tires go on, and... Oh, no. Right Close. behind the Alfa Romeo. That is right. the Haas into the lead of the race. Oh, my. So, well, you're not really in the lead, because you know, Breezy and Kuridama can go to the end of the race. You no, don't have to they, change they, tires. It's not required. Well, yes, but at the same time... Only twos, Bre ones for... Uh, Breezy's into the pits, and I imagine yep. Kuridama's going to follow him in this... No. Stayed out, nope. I think. Creed almost stays out for another go around, as that is going to promote Tuna Time into second place. By exactly nine points. Nine, nine, is... nine, nine. The Ferrari gets <laughs> ah! completely out oh of the way. That's a expulse. That's a, that's a spin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was, you can see he was getting out of the way because he didn't want to throw anybody off. He knows yeah. he goes Freeway to versus Tuna Time for the net race win at the moment because Curry Dom, I think Curry Dom might actually be trying to stay out, but I mean, 1.5 seconds against fresh... I would give uh, it a shot, inches. man. Because uh, the, now if you go that deep into the race, at this point, if you box, like, you know... I go faster, and this guy keeps in my mirrors. He doesn't I, go away. I've seen a couple of boxing <laughs> fights like this where it's like, both guys are really skilled, but one of them is just better. It's like the guy who lost whatever. It's like, yeah, he's really... Get his right out to the time! But... Two to time, trying to swing around the outside of Darren Kuridama, but gets the switchback move and takes out the Mercedes. Oh no. Went for a switchback on the Mercedes. One, and and now Freeway 5 all over the back of two at a time. Going to try and avenge his teammate. Going down the not so straight straight. Here <laughs> comes Freeway 5 and Hatchet in hot pursuit as well. A three way fight oh, for the three. lead. Surely that's got to be a penalty coming two at a time's way. So we don't know quite yet how that's going to affect the championship. Assuming it's a five-seconder, Tuna Time would not be champion at the end of this race. It's a big gamble. I was wondering what Tuna Time would have to do. on the grid right now. Even J-Boy. Despite J-Boy just having bad luck, Hatchet's even in, a, even in an even more infuriating position. The one where I'm faster than you and I've been faster than you for the last 20 laps, but I just can't get by you. No one else. Fresh just tires there from Fruit 5 and Hatchet. And Hatchet's Hatchet Hatchet has the run away. finally. Oh, and Freeway gets a little bit off traction. Is this finally the move for Hatchet? The Alfa Romeo just got to swing it around the outside of this right-hander. And this is the room. They touch wheels. Goes to the second of the three consecutive right-handers. But Freeway gets the move in the end. Is Hatchet going to go for a switchback move? Yes, no, he's he is. Not. But he's going to go to the inside for this left-hander. No. Because getting on the inside of that turn is very, very risky with how difficult traction is. But Hatchet, that was his best chance to overtake Freeway so far, but still coming up just short. But the funny part is now we can see the difference in the tires. DRS isn't really a, a problem in the wet, because again, you're spending so much more time on the brakes and so much less time on full. It doesn't Ooh. really... There's a Twitch moment from Freeway 5. This battle is letting Breezy catch up. That is very true. Keep in mind, Hatchet. once again, yeah. we have to remember once again, there might be a penalty coming to the time's way for the incident he had with Curry Damo. Oh! Oh, Hatchet's, Hatchet's grace gone. goes up in flames. No. Hatchet, after doing all that great work. Safety Hatchet gone. gets too eager on the throttle. There it is. Of, oh, oh, yeah. He tried to correct as well, too, but the car just momentum in, into that barrier at a high impact Charged, speed. Yeah. That's the problem. There's absolutely zero grips on curves on this game, especially. In Surely he has to go in because his tires are way too warm. Yeah, he and is. And yeah, he is going in. Freeway so goes in, but... Oh, Freeway comes in for fresh And Breezy! As well. Why didn't Breezy stay out? It's an opportunity to get track position. Well, yes, but it's probably... Yes, happen. two to time is in a championship winning position should there be no external penalties or forces applied at the end of this race. There is going to be 
Eight gone. laps to go. As we go green, as Envy Scarf picks up a third time pass. Oh. Freeway already looking at all the possibilities to try and get by the Haas, and they've already gapped the rest of the field by two seconds. These top three absolutely flying two of the title contenders and our defending race winner as Breezy gets a very good run. But back to the time. Line is third. One, two, three as Doctor Who. No, Doctor Who's out of place. Oh, Doctor, you bend it, my friend. Don't worry about it. Use the TARDIS, travel back in time, and fix that all over again. Flashback. Yeah, flashback time there for the Doctor. You come out of the pits. They, they go on, you come out of the pits, and they're already warm. Oh, wow. Like, I didn't know that. It is that easy. Oh, if it's easy, why not? Why not? Why not? Why am I not driving? Well, because then you still have to That's drive cool. in the way. But yeah, Spa is unnecessarily tight, in my opinion. Anyway, getting ready to go green now. There's going to be four laps of racing left in this very wet Dutch Grand Prix. And it's the fish in its natural habitat, two at a time, in the lead. Followed as we're flying through the bank turn. Green flag is out. We're racing once again here in the Netherlands. And now it's just flat out. Go, 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 go to the end of the race. And Breezy is looking down the inside of Freeway. And Freeway goes a bit wide. Breezy we'll sticks We'll continue with that one because I don't think they're going to call another safety car out right now. It's game, game, game on. Oh, Freeway got way too loose coming out of the... And Breezy breezes on by back into a position which allows it to fight for a championship. Freeway Breezy drops down the to third after leading or being second for so long. But this race isn't over yet. There's still so much more to do. As oh, did, Wow, that was very oh, loose. As we see Eric Rogers, the other Haas, spinning in the background, unfortunately. No! Waiting for the McLaren second. He needs to be first, really. But Tuna time. Just looks unbeatable at the oh, moment freeway. as Freeway puts it out of the race. No, Freeway, after such a great job there, looking almost going to get back-to-back -back wins, but that's out. And so then long once again, and it comes undone for Freeway. And now it's Kuridama leading the way for the Silver Arrows on the podium. One Mercedes replaced with another as we see Brian oh. Berth trying to get Enviable Scarf, and that's not the correct way to do it. Speaking oh. of Enviable Scarf, by the Stuart. way. Stuart, Eric at the moment. Let's have a look at him. Again, sixth position. I have to say, the Haas is doing pretty good. Haas is, both the Haas is doing pretty good because one could wrap up a driver's championship here this evening. And they're also battling, remember, closely in the constructors. Well, it's not really another Eric Rogers. Overtake button wide open, trying to get by the McLaren, but the McLaren clearly also has the overtake button on. And it's flying by as Brian Burns, I think, just spun it on the exit of turn one and is still stuck at turn one. And yep, that is more spots for Eric Rogers, Brian Burns unfortunately it's another little bout of bad luck but that's all right as we see Eric Rogers. oh no oh, front my, wing for uh, Strimber why does Strimber not have oh, a front no. wing well, yeah, here, here he go in the here. moment so Breezy wants to take deny this from two to time and the keep battle the championship for the win alive. one and two in the championship one and two on track it's the battle for take is already over half a second in it with one lap to go here at the Dutch Grand Prix, and Tuna Time is running away from the Williams, going a little bit wide, but it's okay because he's getting a better exit down towards turns two and three. And it does look to like lose it. at the moment. Just needs one more clean lap in these treacherous conditions, which he's so beautifully mastered throughout this whole race. Breezy got a good run, but just couldn't quite get the traction down on the traction zone. Down the not-so-straight straight for the final Staying time. ahead. Staying ahead. Is there going to be a last-minute overtake? There won't, because Tuna Time is too far ahead. One and two in the championship. One and two on track. It's not going to be a driver's championship quite yet. Four to two on track. It's not going to be a driver's championship quite yet. Four to Tuna Time. But out of the final corner, it's going to be the fourth win of the season. It's Tuna Time wins the Dutch Grand Prix. And it's going to be Breezy second. Wow. Absolutely. After an also another pit stop there as well. 13 positions, uh, 13 to five. It's not quite a championship yet for Tuna Time, but it is still very, very close. Coming up just a couple points shy of having it wrapped up officially. He withstood all the elements. Get on that high horse and cry. <laughs> I haven't seen that even seen that celebration before. That one's pretty funny. First yeah, place a... goes to the Tuna Time to win yeah. in Zanvolt. 